to another vlog. So today this is going to be like a day in a life vlog um, because on Monday we're going up to London so I'm going to do another travel vlog. Um, so if you're new here I'm Sonia, um, I do travel, I do bargains um, and I do craft videos um, so please subscribe to this channel. Um, so yeah today I'm just kind of going to do a little business day, oh that was my shoe by the way, um, yeah, so today I'm just going to do like a little business day, um, packing parcels, replying back to emails, showing you kind of like um, what I would do in a day of kind of business and busyness and all that kind of thing. So first things first is a coffee and then my emails. I always do my emails in the morning um, or if I get some emails in the afternoon, um, I will again do them quickly before I go to bed. Um, so yeah, first thing first, it's a really nice coffee. So I'm just going to do a little outfit of the day. Um, really, really sorry about that light. There's not really anything I could do about it because it just covers the whole room. Um, so yeah, first of all, I've got this cardigan, which is just perfect for if it gets a little bit chilly in the day because it was really windy this morning. Um, so this was from Primark. Um, it's also got a little hood in case it rains. Um, and then I got these jeans, which were also from Primark, and I just turned them up at the bottom there. These shoes, as I'm already here, they were from. Um, a nasty girl, I only got them delivered yesterday if you saw my Instagram stories. Um, they were in the sale, I shall link them below. Um, and then this was also from Nasty Girl, it's like a leopard print um, red and emerald satin top. Um, I haven't got a bra with it um, because if you wear a bra, you see a bra. Um, so, and this was only five pounds because I also got that in sale as well so I'm probably gonna wear an outfit or this outfit or something very similar to on Monday because these shoes are so comfortable so easy to walk in as well um so I'll definitely be wearing shoes on Monday so yeah I'll probably wear something like this up to the Harry Potter on location show which I'm so so excited um so yeah now I better crack on with some work Today I need to photograph most of this um, because I'm doing a end of summer sale for my pre-love and vintage clothing shop um, so I want to get rid of um, most of the summer stock and I have a still I still have a few um, winter pieces in there which I quite like to get rid of so I can get some different things in um, so literally all I do is set up my camera here and excuse all the messing a corner, I'm waiting for another cube um, rack, one like this, to go next to it so all that can go in there. Um, and then here I literally do my vlogging and podcasting. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying, literally all I do with my pre love clothing is photograph it on a mannequin. Um, just because there's so many different variety of sizes, um, from 8 to all the way up to 16 I think. And obviously they're not all going to fit me so I can't really model it all. So it's literally goes on a mannequin, I photograph it here and then I edit the photos on my laptop. So when I work, I also listen to my audiobooks. Um, I just find it really, really relaxing and it's just nice to have something playing in the background and um, while you're working. Um, I've got through a few books, but there are some I need to finish. I pay £7.99 a month. Um, I did the 30-day free trial as well when I got this about a year ago, I think it was, and I've just absolutely loved it since. Um, so yeah, I can link it below if any of you are really interested. <laughs>
So I'm just waiting for my camera to um, charge up. It's just literally gone out of battery. But I just wanted to show you something which I got from Etsy. So this is a new advertisement stand um, for my magical gift shop. Um, so it's by a lady called um, Victoria Maxwell. Um, and she does these amazing acrylic signs which came through the post yesterday I think it was and look how gorgeous these are so this is going to be fabulous for um, my fairs um, you know all that kind of thing when I do shows also comes with a little stand um, she does so many different colours so many different designs I'm definitely going to get another one for my YouTube um, so literally it just pops in there I don't know if I can do this one handed. Yeah, so it literally pops in there as so. And then it's a great way to advertise your brand. Um, so she does all sorts of different ones. If you've got an Etsy shop, um, if you've got Pinterest, um, Air, Snapchat, any kind of social media, there is um, ones for that. Like I said, YouTube, websites. Um, I think she does ones um, if you run a salon. Um, she does things like lashes and things like that. So I thought they were really, really nice. And yes, I'm definitely going to be using it for some of my fairs. Another thing I do um, is that I do weekly orders um, for my clothing shop and Etsy shop. Um, so I do a weekly drop off at the post office because I signed up to a drop and go. So you literally do it all online. I'll, I'll show you one day and go a bit more in depth with it if you're interested um, in the whole post office drop and go thing. Um, but yeah, basically do it all online and then I print off the labels and it just goes straight to the post office and they pretty much deal with the rest. Um, so I do that on a weekly basis, uh, also just depends on when I'm working. So I just need to pack a few vintage items here. This is a gorgeous uh, beaded vest top. Um, I think it's from a brand Heart. I originally got it at a vintage fair actually, um, but... I never really use it for anything so I thought I might as well sell it and give it to a lovely customer so I'm just going to pack that up and I've got a few more bits I need to pack um, and then when I get the bus home I shall drop it off at the post office. Um, so I've done um, most of the photographing I'm not going to photograph it all because I need to go home now um, and edit the photos on my laptop and if I have too many photos it just realistically won't get done um, so next week I shall photograph some more and um, edit them again so there's just not too much to do um, so now I just need to uh, just need to go to the post office and send off the parcels which I packed earlier um, I don't think there's much else to do today because I've done all my crafts which I did on Monday um, it's just a case of doing some things on my laptop which I'll do at home um, and I just need to hoover and things when I get back um, so yeah I'm just going to head out to the post office now So I just got home and I just want to show you a few um, parcels which I've got. So this is related to my um, magical craft shop which I spoke a little bit about earlier. So these are laser cut MDF shapes which are by Laser Craft Shapes. Um, I shall link them below. Um, and yeah, this is basically where I get all my little... Um, Little MDF, uh, cute little characters, you know, if you see my shop, I've got so much on there. Um, but obviously I'm starting to do a Halloween range, so I've got these really nice personalised hanging decorations. Obviously these would just be samples because customers um, can order bespoke um, orders, so they pick their colours and glitter, etc, etc, and obviously the name. And then this one is probably going to be really popular. So this is a initial stand and it's a wizard um, inspired kind of home decor and it's got um, personalised, you can have your personalised name um, and that obviously goes on the front of your initial and it's got these cute little um, wizard um, shapes.
And the other thing I got what I was really excited about was this Harry Potter crafting wizardry um, craft book. Um, it's from Amazon. I think it was about £15. Again, I should link it below. Um, it has all these amazing um, craft products, uh, products, projects to do. Um, and it also, as you can see, comes with all the templates you need um, to create these really nice um, projects. Um, so, yeah, and obviously. It's got everything from chapter one, journey to Hogwarts, and you've got all these little craft uh, projects you can do. Um, and it comes with all the instructions and a list of all the, hang on, let me get to the right page, a list of all the equipment which you need. And yeah, I just thought it was so, so nice. I'm definitely gonna be making my way through it, but we've got some really nice craft, um, projects in there and also says the level of skill um, needed so obviously this one's just a beginner um, but I thought it was so so nice I'm so so looking forward to creating some bits and bobs mm -hmm.